Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. How are you today? It's uh, Black Mercury here, and I first want to apologize for um, not posting in a while. It's uh, had a lot of problems. Uh, I've been sick, and um, my composite cable uh, from my Xbox uh, screwed up, and so the, the blue wire didn't work anymore. So. That sucks, and so that's why I've been having been bringing gameplay. Is uh, I'm going to GameStop tomorrow to pick up Gears of War 3, and that game's gonna be awesome. And then when I'm there, I'm gonna pick up a new composite cable. So expect Xbox gameplays finally. And uh, another reason why I haven't been playing is because of school, and more importantly, The Office. And that's what I want to really talk about today: The Office and how amazing The Office is. Um, I didn't really like The Office the first time I saw it. Uh, when I was freshman, sophomore year of high school. I uh, never really got into it. I didn't think it was that funny. Uh, but I just started watching it recently with my uh, my roommates. And uh, I really learned that I really like it. Um, we got the food requests free uh, for being college students. And uh, we've been watching it ever since. And it's been really, really fun. And um, I just really hope... Um, I'm really skeptical. I don't know why I said hope. I'm really skeptical. I'm sorry about uh, season eight. That Steve Carell is no longer in the office, and I think it's going to be it's going to be weird. Uh, I know. I think Steve Carell made the office. Um, uh, I know why he left. He wanted to um, leave his family more, but what I'm thinking is most of the time he's like going to be my family more. I've been a lot of times in movies and stuff. My thing is, why doesn't he just stop the movies and just focus on The Office? Because the ratings of The Office are going to go down. I love The Office, and I bet you guys love The Office also. And um, I really think that The Office should have won the Emmy Awards. Uh, the Emmy Awards were last night. Um, I mean, Steve Carell did not win Best Lead Actor for Comedy Series, nor did... Season or the Goodbye Michael episode win best writing for a comedy series because uh, Modern Family won and screw you, Modern Family. No one, no one likes Modern Family. Uh, obviously, the better choice is uh, uh, The Office, excuse me, because The Office is hilarious. Um, I have not met a person that doesn't like The Office. Um, Let's see. My favorite character of The Office, uh, that's the next thing I want to talk about. My favorite character is probably uh, DJ Novak's character, um, who is Ryan. I think Ryan is hilarious uh, sometimes, and I think overall he has really funny parts. Um, off and on, uh, I think his situation with uh, coming, corp coming corporate and then going to jail for internet and all that jazz was really funny. Um, kind of depressing because he just tried so hard. And then him and Kelly got back together after they broke up with Daryl, after she broke up with Daryl. But um, what, what's your guys' favorite uh, TV episode or TV series? Whether it be comedy or serious like CSI Miami and all the other stuff that's on TV. Um, I don't really watch TV. To be completely honest, um, I just mainly either run my free time on the front of the screen. I'm usually either on the internet watching YouTube videos from other YouTube makers, which really inspire me to do this, or making playing video games and making videos myself. So um, that's really what I do in my spare time. I'm in front of a screen, not hanging out with my friends. And the um, next thing I want to talk about is um, Gears of War 3. I know this is not an appropriate game to talk about Gears of War 3. I should be playing Gears of War 2, but like I said, my composite cables are out. Um, and I can't bring you Gears of War gameplay until I go tomorrow and get all that stuff. Uh, I know I should should have gone another time, but guys, GameStop is far away from campus. I have to take a bus ride, I have to pay the bus, and then it's just a lot of, it's just a real hassle to get there. And so, uh, Gears of War 3, I'm really excited for. 
Um, Gears of War 1 to Gears of War 2, the on they only made positive changes. Uh, I do not see one negative change. They didn't change the formula. They just um, added horde mode and more weapons from what I saw. Um, I just and they put back all the maps. That's what I liked about Gears of War. They put back all the good Gears of They put back every single Gears of War 1 map, which is what Halo should do. I know they remade all the, um, for most of the community, remade all of the maps for Halo 1 and Halo 2, but Bungie, get onto it. This is your last, uh, that's the other, this is your last game that you have IP rights to Halo. Put all the maps from Halo 1, Halo 2, and Halo 3. Halo ODST, no, Halo ODST, they have the multiplayer maps, that's for, hmm, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, firefight. Um, well, uh, my co my throat is square. That's probably why I've been sick lately. That's no reason why I've been making commentaries. Um, oh well, yeah, Gears of War three and uh, maps. So um, Halo, Bungie, jump on that because you've been amazing in the past and um, everything like that. Um, what I'm thinking from Gears of War three, um, they might have gone over the top with board mode. Um. Just a tiny bit, because um, I, now they add berserkers and all this defense stuff. I like TF2, or if you guys ever played um, Monday Night Combat, it's kind of like a TF2 ripoff. But if you ever play Monday Night Combat, you kind of do like that. Um, it's way after way of things, and you create turrets and everything. And I really hope they didn't do that, or it really helps somehow the formula that is still fun because the multiplayer is amazing and um, the only real game type I play in Gears of War is Annex. Um, favorite game type in uh, Gears of War Gears of War series um, and I can't wait to see how Carmine dies. Uh, as you know Gears of War 3 or Gears of War is going to be a trilogy and as you know there are three Carmines. So uh, what's your prediction on how the Carmines how this Carmine's gonna die, the last Carmine. Let's uh, review what happened. The first one got shot in the head. Just like bam, right through the head. The uh, second one fell in acid and burned, or whatever you call it, to death. How do you think the third one's gonna die? Um, I'm predicting a berserker. Just, tr just run him over. Um, kind of like in the first Gears of War when uh, you saw him and you saw the Berserker for the first time and you ripped apart like three people. Yep, it's gonna happen to this third Carmine, Berserker all the way. And if it's not really funny or epic, uh, I'm quite disappointed because Epic Games should have made uh, did they buy Epic Games? I think they made Epic Games. Um, they should make this final Carmine death awesome. Um. Uh, and you know, favorite character though in Gears of War, Coltrane, all the way. Coltrane is the best, awesome, coolest, badass character there is in um, pretty much any game I could think of. He's really funny. He's really awesome. Uh, so, what are your predictions of Gears of War Three? I personally think it's gonna be amazing, and I can't wait to get it. Have my composite cable fixed. Because once I get the cables fixed and everything, I'm going to bring new cables. And this one. Um, and this uh, gameplay is wrapping up right here. So uh, I think I did pretty well this game. Uh, it wasn't top those to scoreboards, but I did well. Got a lot of kills. And uh, this has been Black Mercury, guys. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.